Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS advanced partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at how AWS WAF was recently integrated into CloudFront and how it can help you secure your application on the seventh layer of OSI ISO application layer with just a simple selection in the AWS management console. If you want to know more about AWS WAF or Amazon CloudFront itself, watch our videos about it. I will share them in the description or right in the video itself. In this video, uh, we will dive into the seamless integration process, explore the interactive CloudFront security dashboard and provide a hands-on video in the AWS management console. And how is AWS WAF now integrated into CloudFront? Uh, it's a simple selection when you create a new CloudFront distribution or even if you go to one of your own older ones, you can just simply select enable security protections and also use something called monitor mode, which means that you will start using AWS WAF, you will get some useful information, but nothing will be blocked. This is actually very useful. I think it's a best practice for starting with, with AWS WAF to first try to figure out what you really want to block because you could block something uh, what you don't want, basically. Uh, so this monitor mode, I, I think it's very useful first we will go through this in the AWS management console, so I will show show it to you how it works. And uh, what what is also great, we have now interactive CloudFront security dashboard. Uh, this new feature can be found in the CloudFront console, as you can see here on the picture. It's one of the tabs uh, right after General. There is a security, and you can just. Try it yourself, but we will go through this in the AWS Management Console. There are some really useful information. And what, what I have to say, I am used to work with AWS WAF. And this is really simple. And uh, I think it's really useful like uh, for people that doesn't understand AWS WAF itself. But uh, AWS WAF has been also changed. So it's, it's kind of together. Uh, but for somebody who is only using CloudFront and want to block something via AWS WAF, it, it can be really useful. So we will go through that a little bit later. Great. So this, this is all, but we, we can go to AWS Management Console and I will try to show you how it works at the moment, how it can be useful for, for users of CloudFront or even if you are just new to AWS WAF and you are think, thinking of using it, maybe you want to use it also with CloudFront because CloudFront also brings some great features for web applications. So we are in the AWS Management Console and we can start. I will go to CloudFront first and show you where, where you will find a new functions in uh, in distribution creation. So I will click on create distribution and I will scroll a bit far down. And as you can see, here is a separate thing called web application firewall. Uh, we can switch between two things. And if you, as, as described before, if you select enable security protections, I recommend first trying to use monitor mode and going through what, what type of requests are going to your application and other stuff. Uh, you can also use the price estimation here. Uh, you can also visit AWS buff pricing we are this, as you can see here, just write how many requests per month to your web application is going. And I think even if I write zero, maybe, yeah, because you will definitely pay something for the rules themselves, not only for the, for the number of requests. So I will go back because I don't want to create a new distribution. I already have one distribution here 
and I will go to security and because uh, as you can see I'm using it uh, fairly, fairly low because this is just a testing environment I will go to one of our accounts and I will show more informations there so I'm in another account uh, where I will show you what you will get if you as you can see have have a lot of requests going through your application uh, as you can see I'm still using it in monitor mode but it doesn't change a lot of stuff here if you start using it just if you want to start using it in block mode just uh, click on the monitor mode and here enable blocking and what what you will get here is some information then about uh, allowed requests block requests and other other stuff here uh, if i scroll a little bit uh, far down you will see that i also enabled the bot requests uh, so basically the bot protection uh, which is normally not enabled after you will use this function it's something special what you can use and as you can see there is a lot of information about how, how many bots are going to to this web application and also if i go here you can see there are many types of bots and uh, if you want to block some of them for example i don't know uh, he, here is something called artificial intelligence if you want to get more information i think this will be in aws documentation but you are able to simply select here what what the bot should get you can block it simply and you can challenge it or capture maybe bot shouldn't be able to do that and this is basically what you will get for the bot bot monitoring and bot blocking and other stuff around bot bots uh, what you, you will get here also if you enable it there is something called aws buff logs and you can start using them really simply if you enable them after some times you are really easily able to find something here so for example if you want to find what type of requests or other stuff are going from united states to your application you can simply put a country and us here and search the logs and uh, after a couple of seconds you should see the the number of requests and the uh, actual ip address is going to the to the to to the application so yeah this this is really useful uh it's much more convenient than using aws WAF uh simply because i i will show it to you because if i go to aws WAF uh, separately you can basically use AWS buff after you enable it uh, in CloudFront. You can simply find the same things in in AWS buff, and here you will need to select global, basically CloudFront, and you should be able to find the uh, the rules or web ACLs here, and here you will find the actual AWS buff rules or the acl and as you can see that there are many other informations here that you can use so if you start using WAF uh, with cloudfront and want to go a little bit deeper to the informations you can just simply go to aws WAF and find find everything there as you can see there is a lot of useful information too but it's it's much more much more informative and there is a lot of stuff that you will need to understand first and what i want to show you also here are, here is something called the rules and as you can see there is managed rule ip reputation list common rule set and known bad, bad inputs and also the bot control rule set uh, this is the separate thing uh, what what you can do here you can also create your own rules it, 
shouldn't be a problem. But take in mind if you if you go to CloudFront and disable this and remove this, it will be removed too. So it's it's something what you can use. Uh, also, if if you are interested in changing something a little bit deeper in the in the setup or 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 you will need to find something here you can simply edit this rule it should shouldn't be a problem but it's still made in the cloud front to be simple and simply to use just for you to understand again you can find these three rule sets or even the bot control rule set in the documentation and real read more about this it should protect your application against some common attacks uh, some of them are, are DOS, some of them are more focused on some applications like PHP or WordPress or other stuff. So if you are interested in this, you can read about this, you can even change them here. Uh, Amazon IP reputation list is something specific. Uh, there is a list of abusive IPs. Uh, that are usually used for some attacks and this one I think it's really useful because it it protects you again against the set of IPs that already been used in other attacks on other infrastructure. It doesn't have to be AWS. So this is basically all. Uh, it's, it's really simple to start using web application firewall together with CloudFront but if you are interested you can go to WAF and try to get some information also there this is really simplified but I think really useful for someone who is starting with AWS or is just not interested that much about what is in the WAF itself so that's all uh, let's go back to my presentation Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.